Building things isn't always as easy as it looks, and sometimes all it can take is one wrong calculation, and it can all come tumbling down. From a $300 million building that looks completely out of this world, but was full of a fundamental problems to an opera house in Sydney, where musicians couldn't hear their own voice, there are several construction mistakes made throughout the history that accounted for millions and billions of dollars. Today we are going to talk about some of such construction mistakes, so stick around to the end of this video so you don't miss any of it. Number 1. Status Center – A $300 million Mistake One of the world's most prestigious universities in the world, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, commissioned architect Frank Gehry to design the Ray and Maria Status Center because of his unique vision and creativity. The building, when completed, had angles that left onlookers in awe and walls that seemed to be out of this world. Years after its opening, MIT had to sue the architect because the building was plagued with problems including drainage issues, failing walls, cracks throughout the foundation, and more. The $300 million structure ended up being seen as a unique feat, but a costly mistake nonetheless. Number 2. Sydney Opera House the Sydney Opera House is adored across the globe, but even though you can't tell from the look of it, ranks as one of the world's failed projects in terms of planning as well as construction. The structure was supposed to be completed in four years with a budget of AU $7 million, but instead took 14 years and a total cost of $14 million. Along with this, the Opera House ended up becoming a place where the musicians couldn't hear their music due to the acoustical flaws as well as improper planning. The Opera House and stage production halls somehow were switched and housed wrong, leading to another high expense of nearly $300 million to rectify the acoustics. Number 3. Walt Disney Concert Hall, Los Angeles Architect Frank Gehry makes our list again, previously with the Status Center. With the Walt Disney Concert Hall, the structure's exterior was built shiny to be an eye-catcher, which it certainly accomplished. The problem is the material which causes such significant shine is also perfect for reflecting light which it certainly does when the sun beams down on it. The light reflected acts as a laser to neighboring buildings, heating them up by up to 15 degrees. Frank Gehry might have missed the mark again, but he will never be accused of not grabbing the public's attention with his designs. Before we continue, if you enjoy content like this, then you will be making a pretty costly mistake of your own by not hitting that like and subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell too, so you never miss an update. Number 4. The Aeon Center the Aeon Center, built in 1974, known back then as the Emoco Building, is one of Chicago's tallest structures today. Initially, the structure was an architectural wonder to the city, a simple, rectangular, tubular, steel frame structure. What made it stand out was its cladding with Carrera marble imported from Tuscany, making it the world's largest marble-clad building. But this beautiful and distinct feature in the building facade began to form numerous cracks due to the material being very thin making pieces of the slab detach and crash down below as well. This led to the structure having a makeover in the 1990s, with the marble being replaced with a more suitable granite, though at a very high expense. The construction mistake ended up being worth a whopping amount of $80 million. Number 5. Citigroup Center, New York When the Citigroup Center building was built in New York City in 1970, there wasn't any space, so the architect decided to build over St. Peter's Lutheran Church, which occupied the site. In order to do so, the 915-foot-tall tower was quite literally built on stilts to hang over the church. From the offset, it's pretty apparent to most people that this design seems really flawed. But developers passed on with construction, ultimately building a skyscraper that was susceptible to toppling over at the first sign of a major storm or hurricane. In fact, officials calculated the building would come down within the next 16 years of its construction. The city kept this fact hidden from the public, taking a massive project to correct the design, ultimately fixing Citigroup Center's engineering without the residents of New York City ever finding out until years later after the fix was in. Number 6. South China Mall A billionaire in China envisioned a mall that would rival any other in the world, setting out to build one of the largest of all time. The size of the mall was impressive, a massive 7 million square feet, more than twice the size of the United States Mall of America. It was ultimately a failure, and although the scope of the South China Mall was unlike anything ever seen, the designers failed to factor in one of the essentials of building. Location The mall was constructed in the middle of nowhere, nearly three hours from any major hub of people, leading to its demise, as it still sits mostly vacant, making this a costly mistake. Number 7. John Hancock Tower, Boston 
Boston joins our list with its infamous John Hancock Tower, which was constructed in 1976. The building was plagued with many costly problems after its opening, all due to poor planning by the architects in charge. For starters, the building did not absorb the wind as most buildings should, causing it to sway dramatically. The windows of the building also posed a major danger as they began crashing to the floor below as they weren't built to take the heating of the panels. After $5 million in time-consuming projects, the issues were eventually resolved. Number 8. Ryugyong Hotel, Pyongyang Pyongyang's giant tower will long be considered an embarrassment to a country that is very cognizant of its image to the rest of the world. Dating back to 1992 when construction began, the Ryugyong Hotel has been plagued with constant issues. To this day, the 1,083-foot hotel has yet to be completed nearly three decades later. The hotel has not only been a time-consuming failure of a project, but has accounted for 2% of the country's entire GDP over that time span. Well, guys, that is it for all the mistakes we can take for this video. If you enjoyed it, then be sure to smack that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. Let us know in the comments section which of the mistakes made you cringe the most, and don't forget to watch part one for more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.